Caribbeans. Hi guys, I'm back and I'm excited. We are reviewing Clash Clans today. Yeah, it's finally here, guys. And I would just like to start off with saying thank you for watching this video, cause um. I know it's been a little bit boring, but you know, I'm just starting and all that. And I'm making improvements as the days go by. So, I've only been up for about three days now. And I already made a completely new intro and am redoing my style. Because, like I said, I'm going to open up to news articles and some just normal opinions on stuff and stuff like that. Well, I just said stuff a lot. So, yep. Um, let's get ready for the goodies. Let's go. Yeah, Clash of Clowns. Yeah. Okay, so here we are. And sorry, I'm not going to zoom in anymore or move anything. This is the best angle I could get to where it's the clearest and not all fuzzy. So you're welcome. Man, this is hard. Okay, so in this game, I'm just going to go from the top of the screen all the way down to the bottom of the screen. So at the very top, they have the little blue bar. That represents lo what level you are, and I think it's how much more you um, experience you need to go to the next level. Really, that doesn't matter that much. I mean, if you want to brag to your friends, that's a small reason why. I don't think you get anything for that. Then you have the trophies. Trophies are represented um, on how on what you attack. If you attack people, you get trophies. If you get attacked and you lose, you lose trophies. And if you get attacked and you win, then you get trophies. So, it's all that. And if you attack and you lose, then you also lose trophies. So, it, that's how everything works. Then they have a builder. A builder upgrades your stuff. And you only have four of those. And you can upgrade one thing and you can only upgrade four things at a time, but it depends how much builder sets you have. One builder set represents one builder. Then you have your shield. A shield represents how much time you can have without anybody attacking you, no matter what. Usually you get those by somebody attacking you and winning, or you can buy them, but... I really don't recommend buying a shield. If you're going to buy something, upgrade your defense. Seriously. I mean, that's just some strategy for me. But Unless you're on vacation, but still then just bring your iPod. Oh no, did I lose angle? Okay. Then there is the gold bar, how much gold you have. Alexar bar, how much Alexar you have. Then the dark Alexar bar on how much um, dark Alexar you have. Then there's gems. Gems allow you a quick way to get things, like eliminates the upgrade time of stuff, and just buying things in general. And then there's that little trophy thing. Uh, I just have to double check real quick to see what that does. Yeah. The trophy thing represents what league you're in. What happens is, is if you get a certain amount of trophies, you kind of get rewarded for it by being put in a league. In a league represents an area of how much you have, um, how much trophies you have. So if you have like 3,000 trophies, you'll be pretty high up there in the leagues. And I'm not going to tell you about all the leagues because I don't want to bore you to death. Then there they have that little hand with arrows. That allows you to move your layout an easier way. They have that little girl. Um, that's not even important. They have the little gears. That's not important. Both of those just have to do with setting and languages and all that. Shop. A shop is where you get your stuff, your buildings, and all that. Um, and, like, decorations and stuff like that. Then you have that attack button right there. Yeah, right there. And what that is, is that, um... That is your clan wars. Clan wars is where you attack against a whole other clan. And a clan is where you join a group with other friends in that and you attack together and you can and you can join to each other and that leads us up to clan chat. That little arrow there, you can actually talk to your friends that are in your clan. Now, um they have the envelope there. 
An envelope usually shows you what you got attacked with and if you won or lost or not. Wow, I got lucky. I won a lot today. That's good. Then on the final, last, but definitely not least, you'll probably use this a lot, is the attack button. Attacking in this game can be... You really have to have a lot of strategy to attack in this game. Because there's no such thing as overpowered. Me, I have unlocked a Pika. And it's not upgraded, but a Pika is supposed to be the best thing in the game. I can attack somebody and still not win with as much Pikas as I want. I can attack with like 15 Pikas and I still might lose. And so, you know, you just have to have strategy. And even if I did text 15 Pikas, I actually might win, but you get my point. Just have good strategy. So, yeah, I'm not going to attack today because I'm trying to... There's a lot of strategy with this game. I'm not going to bore you guys with that. I'm trying to be nice today. No, but... Um, I'm not going to attack like I was saying because I'm trying to save my resources in order to upgrade my other dark barracks because as you can tell here hold on it cost one million seven um hundred fifty thousand um wow that was hard to pronounce if i even got that right to upgrade my dark barracks or brocks or the heck you call it um and as you can tell i obviously don't have that much derp so, yep, um, that's why I'm not going to attack. So, that's about it for this tutorial. Have a nice day. Please subscribe. And, like I said, next is my um, review about Halo 5. So, bye. Have fun. Spread the joy. Peace.